Shut up and sit down. Hi, hello. I am Cyber Guru. Thank you for watching. Uh, so this is uh, intended to be a relatively quick video about the type of filaments that I use with my printer. So uh, one of my significant others. Uh, co-workers recently got a 3D printer and was asking her what type of film that I used and she didn't know so I said hey let's make a video about it and let's let everyone know. So uh, the story kind of goes like this. I started off, I got the printer, got the Prusa. Uh, with the, the printer itself it came with a roll of uh, the Prusa PLA which I used pretty much all of it. It's a, it's a pretty good filament. Um, I gotta say, never really had any problems printing with it, which uh, quite honestly, the, the combination of the Prusa printer and the Prusa uh, filament uh, together, a pretty good option there, right there. Uh, that's just pretty solid. Um, they did a good job mating the two. Now, uh, about a year or so before I actually got the Prusa, um, I was actually involved in an open source uh, prototyping effort beta program where the thing that I was building was capable of 3D printing. So uh, during that time, I actually bought a bunch of inland filament from Micro Center. Um, so uh, this is uh, pretty much what I would characterize as budget uh, bargain filament. It's about $15 uh, a spool, uh, 2.2 kilograms or so. Uh, it is uh, probably the least expensive filament that you can get. Um, and uh, specifically say least expensive instead of cheapest because it is pretty decent filament. I've had really good luck with it. Um, in fact, you know, uh, I'll show this to you. Um, this is the Marvin that I printed uh, off the Prusa. The, some of the very first things, let me see if I can uh, stand by. Okay, so uh, there's the Marvin. You can see, let me see, there I go, zoom back out. Um, this is like uh, the very first thing I printed off the Prusa was not with the Prusa PLA, which is green. I printed in this this pink filament. And look at this Marvin. It is freaking fantastic. I was utterly blown away um, by this Marvin um, when I got when I started printing it. Because, you know, the inland filament kind of has a bad rap. It's kind of cheap. Um, and I don't, that's why I'm using the word inexpensive. It does not cost a lot. It doesn't, uh, it is not cheap filament. Um, I've had good luck with it. Everything except for the white filament. Um, the interwebs back me up on this. Uh, the white filament uh, does not stick to the bed. Uh, once you get good bed adhesion, it works pretty darn well. I think, um, see the, let's see, the skull right there that's printed in the inland white filament uh, with some coloring that I did on it. And once you get it to stick, it works perfectly fine. Uh, but it was the hardest of all the filaments to print with. Um, uh, but other than that, I, I, I've had good luck with the inland. I've also, uh, I bought a, a roll of the E-Sun uh, Pet-G Magenta uh, Red, uh, translucent red. Um, it's fantastic. I love it. I will buy more of it. Um, I made my print spool holder for, from it and uh, some other, many, many, many other things. Um, I, I love that filament. Uh, the rumor is, I don't know if this is true or not. This is what I read. Don't believe everything you read on the internet. Um, that the uh, inland filament is the e-sun filament that doesn't pass the quality test. I don't know if that's true or not. It's possible. Um, so the inland and the in the um, the e-sun filaments are essentially the same, just a slightly quality, uh, slightly different quality variants. So I've got a lot of inland filament. Um, the the pink, the the green, the the teal blue, the purple. Um, I have brown. I have not tried printing with the brown yet. That's like the last roll of inland filament I haven't cracked into. Um, I want to say that oh, I got the white definitely, and I think I have black. Um, so I have got a lot of the colors, um, and it works perfectly fine. Um, uh, so you know, after I moved on from the inland filament, I got involved with Maker Geeks. Uh, I got their Geek Box, and I, I have been getting their filament every month now. Um, I think you can see. Let's. Uh, which way do I want to go? I want to go this way. There you go. You see that little uh, that little bucket back there? Um, that's pretty much all full of uh, Maker Geeks filament. Uh, a handful of other rolls, um, but uh, mostly Maker Geeks. I just don't print enough to keep up with two rolls a month from Maker Geeks. Um, but the Maker Geeks Geek Box is uh, definitely a good deal. It's about fifteen dollars a roll. If you want to, uh, you know, figure it out, it's thirty dollars a month, so two rolls, fifteen dollars, right? So it is the same price as the inland. Um, I would say the Maker Geeks is a notch, a couple notches above the inland filament. Um, I've never had really any issues uh, with the Maker Geeks filament, uh, except for one, the, the gray. 
Um, I had it out uh, when we went on vacation. I came back and I printed and it um, did not print very well. So I'm going to move the light here. It's shining in my face. There you go. Uh, so uh, then uh, for Christmas, I got uh, two interesting filaments, which I love. It's the Hatchbox Wood PLA. Um, I love it. Um, it's difficult to print with. It strings like the bejeebas. Um, uh, but it is an amazing output. Um, I, I, you know, I did what everyone else did on the internet. I printed the baby Groot, <laughs> um, but it looks amazing. Um, and then I got this uh, Black Magic 3D Glow in the Dark PLA in magenta color. Um, it, this stuff was fantastic. Um, I've heard reports on the internet, again, of the, the, the glow in the dark filament destroying your nozzle uh, because of the, the phosphates in it. Um, this didn't happen that I'm aware of um, with the filament that I have. Uh, unfortunately, they don't sell it anymore, uh, but I do highly, highly recommend it. Um, it, it, it just seems like a great filament. Um, oh, it doesn't seem like it. It is a great filament. I've used it. <laughs> um, and then most recently I have purchased some uh, Poly Alchemy Elixir. Uh, I got a, a couple different colors, but I started printing with the Emerald City Green. Um, Emerald City is what it's called. It's this green. It's this silky smooth green. And again, I will link uh, the video of my review of that up there. It is freaking amazing. Um, if all of the rest of the colors print like the green, uh, it's just outstanding. Um, now the Poly Alchemy um, Elixir is expensive. It's what I will characterize as essentially a premium filament. It's at the lower end of premium. Um, I want to say, um, so I waited until there was a US reseller, so printed solid. Thumbs up, you guys are awesome. I got it from printed solid. I want to say it was $32 or $36 a roll. Um, I got four rolls of right around $100, so $120 I think, so yeah, you know, something like that. Um, it was my first foray into what I would characterize as premium filaments. Um, but it is amazing and I, I, I can just uh, I'll highly recommend it. There's no going back there, definitely. Um, so a couple other things. There's lots of other companies that I am tracking that I have not had the opportunity to try yet. Um, first off the bat, I've been watching Hatchbox. Aside from their wood PLA, I have not tried any of the Hatchbox filaments. Um, they're on my to-do list. Um, most recently, Filamentum, uh, which is uh, F I L L A T something U M blah blah, blah filamentum.com, and then Atomic Filaments, um, and then there's uh, let's see, I think I pulled up the website. Let me see if I can uh, remind myself. Maker Geeks, we got that. Black Magic got that. Because uh, Matter Hackers, so Matter Hackers has both their PLA or their 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 filament, and then they resell other filaments like Color Fab. And uh, let's see what else they have. They got the Color Fab, Glow in the Dark, Polymaker, um, uh, the Color Fab filament. Um, I've I've just heard nothing but great reviews about it. I don't have any of it. I don't have any of it because it's really expensive. It is. Um, let's see. Well, uh, let's see what uh, on sale currently at Matter Hackers for thirty-eight ninety-five U.S. dollars. That is. Um, Quite honestly, more than I'm willing to pay for a roll of filament when I can get a roll of filament from Inland that works pretty darn good uh, for $15. Um, that's a two to one. Um, so uh, maybe if I get some Color Fab and it is uh, better than twice as good as the Inland, um, then I will reconsider. Uh, but I will tell you the properties of like the Elixir um, definitely make up for the cost. Um, Color Fab. They, they got a massive, massive number of different colors. Um, but I got to tell you that Elixir, uh, the Poly Alchemy, is catching up. Uh, some of the purples they've just released are just look amazing. And, and, and I'm, I just, I don't need any more filament, but I, I, I'm, I'm getting the itch to buy some. So you guys need to stop making cool stuff. <laughs> um, the, so the last thing there is, uh, let's see, we did uh, Matter Hackers, uh, Print a Solid, I talked about definitely. They're a reseller, I don't believe they have any filament of their own, uh, but they do sell the Poly Alchemy in the US, which saves you a ton of shipping. Um, the Prusa, I mentioned the Prusa sh uh, uh, filament, uh, it's good. Uh, the shipping is a huge, huge problem to the U.S. Um, it's something like thirty, forty, fifty dollars to ship a roll of filament. Um, so you got to buy a lot of it for it to make sense. Um, and 
I've been asking uh, the Perusia guys if they're going to have a U.S. reseller for um, various things, and uh, nothing yet. Um, other things that are on my to-do list, uh, like Ninja Flex. Um, let's see, some of the, uh, the 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 magnetic iron definitely on my to-do list. I want to try like the brass or something. Um, uh, not really sure where I want to go with this, but the color fab, bronze fill, copper fill, brass fill, all sound super interesting. But the um, the 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 iron one to me just sounds it sounds interesting because um, then you can you know you can patina it and, and turn it all green. Um, so uh, there you go. So the, the not so uh, short video, uh, but that's my recommendation. Um, uh, you know, depending on your printer, if you have a super high-end printer, I'd say start with some super high-end filament, um, and uh, you shouldn't have any problems. Uh, I would definitely say start with a middle-of-the-road printer like Matter Hackers. Um, I don't want to call them middle-of-the-road, but comparatively speaking in price, they are middle-of-the-road um, because they're it's good filament, and, or, or like Bruce right, it's good filament. Um, uh, you're not paying a super premium, but you're also not uh, getting uh, straddled with something, that, some bad film you might get from Inland, let's say. Um, but the Hatchbox, uh, good stuff. Uh, the prices, I think, have gone up a little bit on Amazon recently. Um, and the eSun stuff, I don't have a lot of experience with it, but it's very economical uh, relative to some of the other uh, filaments, and, and I've had great luck with it. So. Uh, that's it. Uh, so uh, if you like the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you don't like the video, as always, I would appreciate a thumbs up anyway. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Let's see. Uh, we will uh, down there. <laughs> subscribe. Uh, any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And um, thanks for watching. Thanks, everyone.